muna tayo sa detalye din ng ano, anti-political mm -hmm. turncoatism. Yes. Basically, party switching. How will that work? Well, uh, of course, uh, it is essential for a functioning democracy that you have strong political parties because political parties are the legitimate vehicles for citizens' participation. And uh, what we have are, uh, through, through the ages, no, would be a weak party system. And this is part of the Quezonian tradition, no? Manuel Luis Quezon, who said that I, uh, my loyalty to my party ends where my loyalty to begins. my country begins. No? And that has been used and abused by politicians as a, an excuse to transfer from one party to another. It's more of accommodation. Yes. Very common yan. Actually, sa discussion natin, maraming tatama ang politiko. Eh. Well, <laughs> yung mga hindi na-accommodate for a particular ticket, they will yes. join the ticket of the yes. uh, opposition, Well, accommodation is, is in fact uh, a very kind uh, uh, description. Some others would call it even as political opportunism. Mm. Um, in the past, uh, in the pre-martial law era, we only had two parties. And uh, you had... Uh, politicians uh, shifting from one party to the other. But the rate of party switching has uh, tremendously gone up after EDSA. Uh, if you will look at all the major electoral uh, cycles in the post-EDSA period, uh, the rate of party switching has gone up to close to 70 to 75 percent after every presidential election. Any reason? Why is it worse after EDSA? Uh, well, because of the uh, 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 destruction of the two-party system during the Marcos years, and Marcos built a super party, the KBL, the Kilusambagong mm. Lipunan, and fragmented the opposition. So what we had was a very strong monolithic administration party and a weakened uh, opposition through several fragmented parties. And, and this system was carried on after EDSA. So the members of the KBL no, started shifting to the Laban ng Demokratikong Pilipino of Cory Aquino. Did, did then CONCOM consider also going back to the two-party system? Well, uh, again, if you know your basic political science, uh, a political party system cannot be legislated or put into the Constitution. Mm. A party system is a natural outcome of your electoral system design. And uh, since uh, the CONCOM has decided to go back to uh, the presidential or to continue the presidential form of government, uh, the appropriate party system that will emerge under a presidential form of government would be a two-party system. Mm. Uh, but of course, we have already instituted also a multi-party system. So now we have a mixed party system. Palalakasin na lang mga political yes, parties. Yes. Pero uh, kasi the, the 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 proposal coming from the committee is basically you're not allowed to switch parties yes. during your incumbency. What yes. else? Uh, well, uh, the provision that we have introduced is that uh, uh, in the first election or in the succeeding elections after the adoption of the new constitution, uh, a politician elected under his or her political party is not allowed to switch parties during their term of office and they cannot switch party two years after the election or two years before the election. The major strict, you eh, know? Yes, uh, it's, it's, it's strict because of the situation we have right now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a disincentive for politicians to, to just switch party left and right for for all possible reasons, no? Because uh, we need we need to ensure that political parties are strengthened by presenting their platform of government, their program of government to the people, and we have to make sure that once a politician joins uh, that political party, uh, he or she is committed to the program of that party. But what if the politician is expelled from the party? What happens to him? Uh, of course, when there are certain uh, instances in which uh, uh, the political circum circumstance is not to be considered as party switching. And that is one of those uh, instances in which you're expelled. So it's not your fault. So uh, personally, I think party switching is the conscious 
transfer from one party to to the other in order to gain something no? coming from the person himself. Yes, yes. But if you're expelled, it's not your decision, right? But uh, of course, just to be you know, uh, hmm. <laughs> to consider other scenarios, yes, you can yes. also have yourself expelled. Well, yeah, yan, di ba? that is possible. That is possible. You can. But then again, uh, what I've, I've said uh, uh, during uh, the briefing yesterday, uh, if you have issues with your party leadership, you stay. You stick it out with your party and you challenge the leadership of your party. And that is how internal party democracy will flourish and eventually strengthen that party. And eventually, if we have that in all parties, then we will have a strong political party system. Okay.